It's Taya here again. Um, I'm at the place where I where I grew up. Um, I used to have this dog um, that I adopted when I was 12. I would hitchhike about 20, maybe 30 kilometers to this farm that I sort of knew that it had um, the the beach had the babies and and I adopted the last dog and uh, he was ever so sweet and my father's attitude was that animals don't belong in a house so um, we put some blankets under under some stairs outside the house but the problem was nobody was um, I was never I never had a dog at the time I was never taught how to have a dog how to do this and and my parents never changed the blankets or cleaned or anything and it was so deep under the stairs it was really hard to reach and sometimes I remember I would clean it but over the years when the years passed and, and the dog grew he started having fleas and the scrubs and the scrubs just grew and grew and by the time he was five he was covered in so many scrubs that he he you know there, there wasn't a centimeter of, of pure skin basically and I wasn't allowed to touch him I wasn't allowed to pet him anything and he just and I, I wasn't allowed to take him to vet and because his attitude towards animals was um, only people who have too much money take their pets to the vet and at 12 years old I couldn't you know, I, I couldn't argue with him. He he was raising me with a very, very hot hand. Very hot hand. I can't even describe it. Begin describing. So, he... Somewhere along this line, just here at the edge, he dragged the dog. He called a local hunter. And I remember standing over there where the trees are, about a hundred yards away. And I remember seeing the hunter pointing the gun at my Maurice. Murray was the dog's name, at his head and the shotgun. And he shot the dog at five years old because he wouldn't take him to the vet because of this cubs. So when I came back from London um, in 2000, 2002, I just came for a holiday um, because I was recovering from an illness and they had another dog at four months old. His name was Astor and I basically stayed in Slovenia because of that dog because I couldn't bear the thought of another dog being treated like, like shit. So I took care of him until two years ago when he passed. And yeah, but no, my parents just didn't know how to, how to raise animals and how to take care of them. All my cats kind of died mysteriously. Even Astor, he, it, it, it was so sad, but it was this place here that he died and I'm here on the 1st of November when we in Slovenia when we go to graves and it's a remembrance day and I'm here today to remember him and ask him to forgive me but I didn't know any better I was only 12 so I'm so sorry Moody wherever you are so yeah that's my dad, narcissistic fucking cunt.